was maybe a mistake. Maybe a mistake. Because <laughs> I, I watched, I think I, went, I fell asleep at 5 a.m. ish. And then, uh, like, sort of mini napped for a little bit. So I'm tired. I'm drinking a rock star. How are you, Marlo? I love you very much. Um, but yeah, I watched season two. It's very good. At first I was like, I don't know. I don't know. But um, I don't know. It drug up a lot of the oldest sibling guilt and drama. Also, Marlo first go, best go. Let's go. Let's go, Marlo. First go, best go. First go, best go. Um, <laughs> yeah, you're alive. Very good. That's how I feel right now. I feel uh, not quite alive. But yeah, so like here I like sit up all night watching this show that brought up all of my um like oh man being an oldest sibling and all like and like gifted child like former gifted child stuff and all of that. And then I'm literally about to hit live and uh my mom calls me just to chat. I'm just like, oh cool. That's great. That sounds great. And so that's why I'm late because I actually would have been ready, maybe. Relatively close to being on time, but not, no. No, because I thought oh, I should answer this. <laughs> and it was good, it was nice to check in with her a little bit, but um, she also apparently, like, I don't know. Uh, I guess, cause, so, because originally on Tiny Totes' birthday on Thursday, my family was gonna come down to see us and hang out here and everything, which I was, like looking forward to for many reasons. Uh, one, it meant we would probably have more time together because everybody could just be here as Teddy Totes got off the bus. But also two, it meant that like I would have good, important deadline for cleaning the house and getting the house ready for guests, which I have not done. <laughs> and uh, apparently my mom informed me that the reason that my sister asked to host thir like because my first my my mom says, "Oh, are you bringing up decorations for Thursday at your sister's?" And I was like, "Why would I do that?" Like no one's asked me to, and so I don't know why I would. And she was like, "Oh, well, you know, because she's hosting." And I was just like, "Right," but she asked to. And I said, oh, okay, sure, if that's really what you want to do. Like, it also means that Grumpy can't come, right? And so it was just kind of like, sure, okay. And then my mom was like, oh, yeah, well, I guess, like, they were just concerned about having, because both my sisters have, like, young babies. And, um, but, like, you know, having the gap, like, having the time together at a place that didn't have, that wasn't baby-proofed. And I was just like, I mean... If that had been the issue, I could have done that. But no one told me that was the issue. My understanding was that they just, like, wanted, you know, thought it would be easier for them, and they have all the babies, and so I said, sure. Yeah, really just weird, and I just, like, I'm, I'm too tired to mask uh, that not being weird to me. <laughs> And, and that that's just something like you know I don't know I don't know I'm having a weird morning I'm having a weird morning I'm also my period finally started yesterday right after stream I knew it I could feel it in my body because I was starting to hurt and I was like oh yeah all of my joints are starting to ache that's a sign and so maybe that's part of it but yeah so I'm having kind of a weird morning but it doesn't matter because I have the best little dopamine buddies look at Ro Daisy Rose doing little hops little hops and jumps oh my god i will die too cute babies so yeah i have the best serotonin in the world right now i've got baby goats and we're gonna go cuddle more goats and all the things all the things so i shall awaken and it's oh my goodness daisy you be nice to your brother missy be nice to your brother. He says no. <laughs> oh my gosh. Here, I'm going to make them bigger for a minute. Because they're just like uh, maybe too, too much. And I cannot handle their cuteness right now. 
Look at them. Oh my gosh. But yeah, like, what? She is rambunctious today. So they were born Thursday afternoon. So they're two days old already. Jumping. Wild. Wild babies. Huh. Oh, and now you go to sleep? Daisy says, no, you play with me now. I am... I am the queen of this tiny little herd of babies. <laughs> oh, Daisy. Oh my gosh, so good. But I'm glad that you got to go to sleep early last night, Marlo. Sometimes we need that. I think that will probably be me tonight. Um, I am already like losing hope of my dreams of cleaning the house today. I think that's probably, probably not going to happen. But, um, oh my goodness. Oh, sweet babies. I like how you guys jump and run around like little crazy monsters. And then and you didn't want to go to bed early, but it's good to go to bed early sometimes. It means that you, like, got rest. Amethyst, good morning. Amethyst, I love you so much. How are you doing today? How was your Saturday? You do speak. Oh, I thought you were just a big wild quiet silent person thing. Hang on. Why didn't you tell me? I'm gonna hear it twice. I'm sorry. You had to rehang a curtain. I will fight that curtain. How dare it? How dare it? <laughs> oh goodness. No, you're not late. I was late, so don't worry. Um, I want to go in, go use connect my earbuds. Oh, look at me! I'm gonna go touch the fun. Let's see. <laughs> There we go. Touching butts, Marlo. I knew it. <laughs> Very bad curtain. Did it just like fall? What, what happened? Why'd you have to rehang it? Oh, goodness. But the babies are doing very good. I, so I've noticed the last couple of days, you know, Lark has been standing a lot. And, um, you know, I, I wondered, because she's standing up even when the babies are not, like, interested in eating, and she's clearly tired. And so um, I ended up, like, basically, I noticed that her, her otters were still so full, even because the babies are nursing. They're definitely, like, getting food, but they... I don't know. I don't know if her, her teats are just a little bit big or, or what was going on. So I ended up milking Lark last night and she produced two quarts of milk. And so I put some of the milk in a bottle and just like offered it to each of the babies to make sure that they were getting enough. Um, and then she finally laid down. So I think that like her udders were just so like over full that she wasn't comfortable. So I think what I'm going to plan to do is, especially while she's here in the house, I'm going to keep milking her at least once a day, if not twice a day, just to keep her production up and um, and then offer bottle to babies as like just to make sure that they're they're getting what they need. And but like obviously like here's little Rose. She's oh you can't see her because Lark's big head, but yeah, you see her little tail wiggles? That's her nursing right now. But like watching them nurse close up, like I don't know if it's because they're you know smaller be, uh or what but she's definitely it definitely kind of seems like maybe 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 likes he he just he's just a, a a big lady oh thank you for pooping right on stream very good very good but yeah so that's my plan now and so then i offer so then i'll like offer all the babies milk and then they can um continue to nurse because they are still nursing which is good um but i just my my fear is they don't get enough uh if they're not getting enough milk then they won't grow as, as much as they need to but you if you can find the screws marlo you all, everybody's hanging everybody's hanging stuff that's fun and when the screws came out from not being installed from so i had to read your name uh uh, oh my gosh, and screw in the piece, that whole, oh my, Ray hang and screw in the piece, oh my gosh. That's, that's not how you want to spend your Saturday, at least not me anyway. But yeah, so plan for the morning is, 
babble talk at you guys for a few more minutes because I just love you so much and I'm waking up. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Um, the rock star's helping. I need to make myself a pot of coffee later. Grumpy normally makes the coffee and I, uh, it's not that I don't know how, it's just that I get nervous because the coffee pot was theirs, not mine. And so I'm always like, hmm, am I doing this right? And if the coffee is bad, then I'm sad about it. I don't know. Uh, hopefully at the end of the day, you'll have a fully functional and unpacked office. Let's go. That sounds so good. You know, it's funny, you know, I remember it wasn't that long ago that you had like completely reorganized and like, um, bruised up your office at your old place. So now you get to do it again and in whatever you want way. And so that's kind of fun. I do like, I do find that I, I struggle sometimes to want to clean or to like not, not want to clean. I want, well, I want things to be clean. I don't necessarily want to clean. I want them to just be clean. But uh, I, I find that if like part of that process is also like reorganizing and like moving stuff around, that tends to help. Sorry, are you a baby? He's just, they're just so cute and sleepy. Um, with brand new furniture, that is very good motivation. You have to put the furniture together because that is less good motivation. <laughs> I hate having to put furniture together. It is my least favorite thing in the whole wide world. My least favorite thing. Well, actually, that's not true. There are other things that are m more least, but well, it'll be it'll. But you like it? Oh, good, good. Well, that makes it easy then. That makes it very, very easy then. Like adult Legos. Okay, I guess I always just feel like I'm. I'm always sweaty at the end of it. <laughs> I don't know. But yes, Amethyst, I'm very glad that you were able to get your curtain hang hung. Hung. And Marlo, you will I, I have no doubt that you will do many good things today and get your office more put together and feel very accomplished. Very accomplished you got a standing desk now. Ooh. I wanna hear how you end up liking it. That's something I've always thought about getting and kind of wanting a stand up desk. Um just because I do a lot of work and a lot of my hobbies in a chair. And so it's a lot of me sitting, which is, I think, mostly just bad for my back and my hips. But I don't know if standing would be better. I remember once I tried, like, an exercise ball at my desk because that was, like, a big thing for a while was sitting on an exercise ball to help your back and stuff. And it, uh, it, it was not good on my back <laughs> and, and I had much pain after that much pain oh my goodness but it is about that time uh choose a stand or sit that's yeah I guess that's good too I think um what I really would love is just a I want a chair where I can basically like sit as as gay as I need to comfortably without having to constantly be shifting <laughs> do they make do they make uh office chairs specifically for us for us gay people for us bi people for the bisexual sitting because i need it because i clearly am uh, it's just not a skill i have <laughs> wait they do marlo marlo is can you are there links will you send me links i i need i need those chairs because like even right now like i'm there's a meditation chair Ooh, yes please please send me links because that's something like you know i got this uh i got this like gaming chair at a game convention a couple years ago and it was definitely better than the uh like poopy office chair that was like cheap from target and uh, and everything so it's better but it's still like I'm constantly shifting and basically just wanting to sit crisscross. I just want to sit crisscross applesauce all the time. Clark, are you ready for some extra pay? But yeah, I can't, Marlo, I cannot wait for you to watch. Maybe you could watch Bridgerton season two while you're unpacking your office today. And then 
we can talk about it. <laughs> because I have a lot, I have a lot of thoughts. I have a lot of, like, I actually, honestly, I think I will say I like this season better than last season. I, I found it to be, I guess, maybe more relatable because last season, you know, the whole story arc with the Duke or whatever and, like, I don't know. I mean, it ended up being cute and good, but I just found, uh, I found the whole, like, thing sort of, like, the whole storyline of the entire season basically, like, being on the fact that he was not, he was not disclosing to Daphne, um, the, the ways in which bodies work and babies are made, and it felt like a, an uninformed consent situation, and it just, it felt a little bit more contrived than this season. Um, and so, that's all I'll say, but I, I really, I really, really enjoyed it. I cried a lot, a lot of crying, and, um, yeah, so any any show that has a I that I find the second season better than the first, I'm I'm impressed by. And so that made me very happy. Oh, Marlo has added me at something in Discord. Let me see, let me see. I'm just gonna look at this. Hypersong meditation chair. Home office desk chair. <gasps> I need this. That's what I need. Oh my god, I'm gonna add it to my list. Who knows when I'll be able to get it, but I'm want that. Comfy! I don't think there's anybody back there. Hi, Comfy! How was your night? How was your morning? Are you guys doing... It is a crisscross applesauce chair. Oh my gosh, I need this chair so bad. My only question I have for it is the back is really low. And so... I don't, I, are, is there good? Oh, but like, look at all the ways you can sit. Okay, hang on a second. Um, I want to show you this because, I mean, Lark's in the way anyway. She's not showing us the babies. Uh, can I do this? And oh, I like, need to save the picture. Okay, no, no, no. Go back to this picture and save image. But yeah, Grumpy, are you doing uh, your... Airsoft stuff yet? What are you guys up to? It is basically an official bisexual chair. Okay, I am, I wanna show you this chair because now I'm obsessed and now I, look at this. Look at all the different ways you can sit. Oh my gosh, I need this. Okay. I'm obsessed with that. It was good. The game doesn't start until noon, so you're prepping as a team this morning. Very fun. That sounds good. Babies. Look at Daffodil. Daffodil, Daffodil. Oh, are you hopping? Oh, shake it out. Shake your ears. Now what? Oh, little wiggles. Oh, here comes Rose. R er, see, I'm already calling her Rose, but Daisy, Daisy Rose, is definitely, she's spunky. She's spunkier than I anticipated her being. Oh, and look at Lark checking on the babies, making sure they're good. Yeah. Are you good babies? Yes, the ears are very, very good. So I did a bunch of looking yesterday and I, I think what we might end up doing is, cause right, so right now, like our herd is registered with like the Nigerian dwarf goats are registered with the American Dairy Goat Association. But there are, um, but the American, or I think it's like, so the Miniature Goat Association, basically, I forget what the actual acronym is, but they are where we would register the new, like the mini Nubian herd. And, um, and I was like going through all of the ways in which you like figure out the genetics and stuff. And so that might be my project today rather than trying to clean because I did not sleep. So I'm my my and I'm, you know, 
bleeding out of my body. And so I, rather than trying to do something physical, I think I would probably do better just hyper fixating on some goat stuff today on my laptop. So I think that's going to be my plan. But um, that's what I'm going to be looking into today is what we would need to do to basically be able to start our own uh, totes mini Nubian line. Which would be very cool. Because that was always, I mean, like that, that like, blah, blah, blah. So Nigerian dwarf goats and mini Nubians were both my favorites. Um, but I really, where are the babies? Oh. There's one baby. <gasps> There's Rose. Rose says, brother, wake up. Wake up, brother. Um, and many Nubians were my number one choice because they're, they, they just tend to have slightly bigger teats. They t tend to be easier to milk. I also really, really love the ears. I love the Nigerian dwarf goat airplane ears too, but, um, Many Nubians were a lot more expensive. There's not as many uh, farms out here with them. And so I was like, oh, I don't know. I think I might pick up Dewberry and give him a little snuggle. I think I need a baby. Um, I can do this. I don't Hi, baby. I guess I'm borrowing him. You can have him back in a minute. You can have him back in a minute. Yeah, see? Oh, what a good baby. What a good baby. <laughs> yeah. Okay, wait, I went to the other baby. Where are you guys? Baby. Oh, just the lark butt. Okay. Wild baby. Hi, Dewberry. Dewey, how are you? How are you, bud? Yeah? Are you sleepy this morning? Yeah, he's just a sweet baby. Look, he's fine. Look, he's happy. He's not screaming or anything. He's not screaming or anything. He's just being a baby. You're the one who's yelling. You're the one who's yelling. Baby. Yeah. Oh. Ask him if he's bi. Are you bi? Mark. Are you just jealous? Because you're like, why don't I get all the cuddles? Oh, no, don't scream. No, don't scream. Don't scream because your mom will bite me. She will. You know, hi, thank you. Yeah, are you just a good baby? What a good baby you are. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, tell me. What is it? Say, I don't know. I just a baby. I think actually, Mark in the background is priceless. I know she's just like that's my baby. So, uh, one of the things I was looking, hi baby, looking at is you know what makes a mini Nubian like a registerable mini Nubian, and I think Dewberry's ears. Are probably closest because I think that Dandy's ear, not Dandy, yeah, Dandy's ears are a little bit more airplaney, like Lark's. I made that. Give it back. No, no, you stay with me. You're so soft. Yeah. Okay. I don't want to give you back. Can I just cuddle you forever? Can you just be, can you be my uh, emotional support goat? And I'll you, just carry you around in a little purse? Who's gonna know? Who's gonna know that you're not a little Pomeranian or something? Dewey, if anybody asks, you're just a little Pomeranian. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he nods, he agrees. No one will know. No one will know. 
Oh, good snuggles. Good snuggles and good pets. Very good. Hmm. Okay. I know the other goats are going to want to be let out. I'm thinking. So one thing I was thinking today is I kind of want to let Lark and the babies out into the yard. Which might be a very silly idea. But I think that they would do good. At least while we're down at the other goats. And if they want to stay outside, they can. And then... I but I think I want to wait until... Because right now the ground is really very dewy, dewy. It's wet out there. And so I think what we'll do is we'll let the chickens have the yard first. And then we'll come back up after we spend time with the other mamas and babies and daddies. And if the grass is dry, then we can let... Baby, baby, baby. Um, but yeah, then if the grass is dry, we can let... Lark and the babies out into the yard and kind of hang out out there with them for a little bit just to give them a little bit more especially since they're starting to really like want to jump around I want to give them the space they need yeah the space they need to stretch their legs yeah you want to stretch your legs okay you are starting to look like you're getting maybe a little hungry do you want to go back in with your mama Mwah. I love you. It kills me. It kills me. They're cute. Okay, bye. With your mouth shut. Here you go. So hard. It sounds so hard. Okay. So, I think. Let's see if I make this this work I I do have the live video up the question is did I type in the address for it right let's see let's see that looks like the right letter. That is correct. Oh, something's happening. And that looks good. Let's refresh, maybe? Refresh and see. Oh my gosh, Daisy Rose is wild girl. Um, yeah, that's not working. So <laughs> let's see. Mm-hmm. Oh, there we go. Oh, my camera fell down. That's fine. It is loading. <clears throat> I'm going to take another sip of my soda. I think I can make it work. I think I can do it. If I can keep this from blowing away. Chickens. There.
We did it, we did it. So now you should be able to see the captions as well. I don't know how, uh... oh goodness, Clarabelle. I don't know how accurate they'll be, but, or how like quickly they'll go, but also, <laughs> hi, good morning. Happy Saturday. I am feeling more awake now. Morning medication has kicked in. A uh, friendly reminder, reminder that if you have morning medication to take, now's the time to take it. And so that makes me feel very happy. Let's go and see the goats. Let's go to see the goats. Do, 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 do. Oh. Yeah, I feel better. I feel better now that I have cuddled a baby and I've had some caffeine and I've had my morning mats. And I think I might order myself a calzone for lunch today. I think I'm gonna. I think I want a pepperoni and jalapeno calzone with cheese bread and blue cheese dipping sauce. And I think that will make me very, very happy. <laughs> oh, um, I also just realized one thing I want to make sure to do is not be on the Wi-Fi for my tablet so I can not have to worry about that piece. And there we go. Very good. All right. I think we'll do, we'll see the girls first and then we'll let the boys out. <laughs> I think that sounds like a very good plan. Bye. It is so nice to be a Saturday. I, it is definitely weird not having uh, Grumpy and Tiny Totes here for my Saturday though. I do miss them. I know, um, I because my sister is taking, so my, sis, my mom is heading in my sisters and my sister's taking Tiny Totes to the zoo today. And so they were calling to see, because we have my mom on our, zoo membership so if my mom is with them then i think they should be able to go without a problem but i also am not entirely sure how that works and so um so she i got to talk to tiny totes a little bit this morning but um <laughs> hello adora is already out and here ready to force cuddles. Hello, Adora. I love you very much. Very good. Hello, everyone else. How are you? Darlin' in the back. How are you all doing today? Very good. Oh, yes. Yes. Can I come sit down? Oh, my gosh. Adora. You are, like, literally literally too much right now it's too much right now okay I'll sit down I'm gonna come sit here I come excuse me excuse me <laughs> okay that's better that's so much better now I can sit down yeah hi Adora and Darwin hello my love how are you oh and also Tammy, hello, I love you too. <laughs> oh, Raya. <gasps> Raya. Raya's letting me pet her. I got I got like three pets in before she jumped away. Oh, darling, are you just too sweet right, right now? Yeah. Hi, Dora. I know. I know, baby. Darling. Do not learn from your daughter and start chewing on me if I do not pet you fast enough. Excuse me. Excuse me. That is not polite. That is not polite. <gasps> oh my goodness. You guys. Hi, Raya. Oh, 
Dora is just getting the best cuddles right now. What do you think? Oh, hi, Elsa. I like how Darlin just like headbutted Elsa out of the barn. She was like, get out of here. <laughs> get out of here. Goodness. Darlin, what? Can you guys help me? Hmm? You say, we just want the pets. And maybe some, some extra grain? We will, we will. Don't you worry. I know, I know. <laughs> Adora. Honey pie, sweetie. Sweetie girl. Stop trying to hog my attention. Oh my goodness. Are you out of control? Yeah. Hi, Raya. Oh, I got a pet in on Raya. Yeah. I know, I know, I know. Here, ready? Fly away. Let me help you. Ready? Are you going to fly away? Fly away. Fly away, fly away. <laughs> Timmy, do you want to fly away? You're very good at flying away. Yeah. Fly, fly, fly away. Fly away. Fly away, fly away. Oh my goodness. Also, hello, Steven. How are you doing, bud? He's like, don't give me meds. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not. Don't worry. You're up. I think you're pretty much good to go, bud. You've been doing really good. Adora. Ma'am. Miss. Floofy baby girl. Oh. Floofy baby girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> what do you guys think of having the yard to yourself without Lark down here with you? Hmm? What do you think? Is it good? Hmm? Look at your little face. Adora says hello. Mm-hmm. Obviously. Obviously, hello. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Adora, do you need to brush him yet? I feel like you might be getting close to needing another brush. In. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe a brush in. Maybe a brushing for this girl. You're not quite too bad off. You're fluffy for sure, but I'm not seeing too many strays, so I think you're probably okay for right now. No more icky poops? No, no icky poops for quite a while. He's still a little bit, like, lethargic here and there, and sometimes he has, like, big, like, log poops, which is not perfect, but um, he seems to be doing a lot better. But he is still just, like, a very chill boy. But I see him out with his mom in the afternoons when the sun's out. Raya, what are you doing to your brother? Raya. Raya. Raya says, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Yeah, you. I'm talking about you. <laughs> you should be nice to your brother. Don't pick on him. Yeah, don't pick on him. Up. Here I am like, trying to get like some cute shots of Raya and Steven together. And then here's Adora. Always. Hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Yeah, goodness gracious. That's what I said. Mm hmm. Mwah. Mwah. I know I've been kissing goats all day. I've been kissing goats all day. <laughs> yeah, so I also did the backdating on Lark's babies. And so she would have had to have conceived sometime around, um, this is what, five months. So either like right around Halloween, basically, 
say, yeah, right around Halloween, basically. Um, and so I don't even remember there being big goat escapes around that time. But I, I did kind of stop <laughs> recording. I used to be really good in like recording any day that there was uh, a major goat party that happened. And I need to do that again. If, hopefully we won't have that issue anymore. But if, if it does happen, I need to, to be better about keeping track of those dates. Cause, um, but it's very clear since quite a few of the babies, I think maybe all three potentially, they all have Mash's eyes. They have his blue with brown marbling. And so uh, it's Mash is the daddy for sure. For sure. Huh. Elsa, what are you doing, little sweet pea? I really wish I could show you what uh, Adora is currently doing to my tripod. Um, hang on, let me see. Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> Why? Oh. Is this yours now? Yeah? Is this yours? Oh, please don't lick my phone, though. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's very good. <laughs> are you are you enjoying yourself? Who is the silliest girl go? It's Adora. Trying to eat my tripod. <laughs> Excuse me. Why? Why? So many other goats are trying to eat my my tripod. It's just you. It's only you, Adora. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> Thank you. Mhm. Mm oh. 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 Whoa. 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 Oh, goodness. Okay, do you guys want some extra, some of your breakfast grain? Let's take a look and see what you got in here already, shall we? Let's take a look. I know you're already out of grain, but you have water and you have some hay. I'm gonna put some alfalfa in here too, besides just that grass. Huh. Yeah, hi. Also, hello, Adora, as always, as always. <laughs> Raya's coloring is becoming so cute. Yeah, you. I know, I'm talking about you. Good girl, eat that egg. Yum, yum, yum. Mm-hmm. Goodness gracious. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. All right. <laughs> now all the girls are going to try and get in to all of the grain inside here, but they're not going to be able to. So that's fine. Yeah, see, Steven's doing so good now. He's like, wait, what's this? Now I am more awake and alert because I want to know things. <laughs> oh my gosh, darling. Silly. Okay, I'm gonna take some hay. Hi, babies. Mm-hmm. Excuse me. Hey, coming through. <gasps> yeah, good girls. Very good girls. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take this 
So I can put some of the grain mixture in for you. Everybody follows. Everybody's always very curious. <gasps> okay, set you guys down for a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. Hmm? All right. Excuse me. All right, come on. I need to get out of here. Excuse me. <clears throat> you know. Ladies and Stephen, you do not make it easy. I put a whole other thing down, and they're just like, but this is where you first put stuff. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Well, here, I'll put some more in this room, this area, then. Ready? Look, mamas, mamas, look at me. Tammy, darling. They say, no, we are focused. Absolutely focused. <laughs> oh, Adora and Darlin have found the other grain source. <laughs> Good babies. Look at the babies, they're like, this is for us, we eat. Nom, nom, nom. Nom, nom, nom. And Tammy's like, this is mine. I eat by myself. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, they're eating all their food up. That is a perfect time to close up the milk stand and go check on the boys. Because I hear them. I hear those boys. Um, do I want to bring the brush with me? I think I do. I think I would like to bring the brush. So, let's grab that. Mm. There is the brush. Not here. Okay. I wonder if I left it up in, like, by my desk. Because I... I think I probably had it in my hand at one point, or maybe Grumpy put it on a shelf that I'm not sure of, so that is fine. There we go. <clears throat> All right. Let's go see the boys. I hear them. I hear those boys. They say, it's morning, it's morning, we're ready for cuddle. We demand... Mm -hmm. I understand. I also wake up in the morning, but I don't usually need to demand cuddles because usually Tiny Kitten is like sitting on my shoulder <laughs> as she, she likes to do. Oh. All right, closed up on those ends. Let's say good. Wait a minute. Uh-oh. <laughs> the door is a little stuck. Hang on. Oh, there we go. <laughs> good. 
Good morning, boys. Hello, gentlemen. How are you today? Mash, you are a daddy. Again, you have babies in other herds, just not here. Huh. Okay, I'm backing up to my spot where I like to sit. Kristoff and Mash are following. Very good, very good. Oh, comfy. Comfy cozy. Hi. Hi, bud. Hi. So yeah, I'm going to see if you can get close to Mash's eye. Hang on, let me see if I can do it this way. So if you see, like, they're blue, but they have this, like, uh, sort of, like, really light, pale blonde encompassing them. Not blonde, brown. Brown blonde encompassing them. Oh, Kristoff, you do need a brush in. You're still shedding like crazy, fluffy boy. Oh, goodness. Hi, Mickey. Hi, bud. You just dipped your beard in the water thing and you want to come and rub it on me? You also, you all need kind of a brush in. I gotta find my brush. I don't know where it went. I don't know where it went. Yeah. We'll find it. We'll find it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What a good boy. But yeah. We'll, when I come down tonight, I'll give you guys all, I'll, I'll try and find the brush before tonight. I'll give you guys some good brushing tonight. Does that sound good? Does that sound good? Maybe a good brushing with your dinner. Yeah. Very nice. Mickey, Mickey's like rubbing his wet beard all over my tablet screen. Luckily, I think it's just, yeah, I agree, Marlo. I think that TT Tiny Totes is very wise. And, and I agree. She is definitely correct about MASH being Lark's kid's dad, which was our goal. Like we actually matched, we actually like had put them together on purpose for like a date. Gosh, maybe that was August or September. Um, it must have been August because oh, Raya just came running out of the barn. Full blast. Full blast. Goodness. Um, and so we were kind of hoping that uh, Lark would have been pregnant and due in like January, but uh, we had her like her blood tested at the same time we had the other girls tested, and she was uh, negative, so she was not pregnant then. So you guys understood the assignment. It just took you a little bit, huh, sir? Huh? I know. I know it. Mhm. Mm What do you think, Kristoff? How is your day going? Are you having a good Saturday? Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Mm-hmm. You're getting quite the little beard. I can't wait to see your beard next year. I think you're gonna have an excellent Oh, M like multicolored beard. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What are you saying? Hmm? What are you saying? What are you talking about? Huh, buddy? Oh, very good. Oh, is that a good spot? Is that a good spot right there? Yeah, you really need brushing. We'll brush you tonight, I think. I think that'll be very nice. Also, we'll get a door. He's like, I want all the pets and also all the boys. No door. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Goodness. Huh. 
Yeah. What? <laughs> oh. <clears throat> you are a good boy, aren't you? Yeah, I gotta find my brush. And I'm gonna brush you out. Because you definitely... You have that nice, thick undercoat. You must get that from your daddy, huh? Give you a little massage. A little massage. Ooh, is that a good spot? Oh, I think you like that spot. Does that feel nice? Yeah. Very good. Very good boy. <laughs> yeah. You know it. Yeah, good boy. <laughs> oh, Kristoff, my baby. I love how Mash like comes up for pets initially, gets a few pets, and then is like, okay, that's enough. Thank you. Goodbye. Like he's very sweet, but he definitely has a disposition that's different than Mickey and and Kristoff, his, his disposition is much more of a, okay, I would like pets, I would like attention, and now once I know that you know that I exist and have given me love, that is all I need. He's a little more introverted <laughs> compared to Mickey and Kristoff who um, need constant <laughs> reassurance and love, huh? Constant. It's constant. It is. I don't know if you knew that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness. Goodness gracious. So one thing I'm, I've been thinking about is <sighs> Captain Bear's ball. <laughs> Surprise. But I wonder, because I can play some games like basically streaming from my PC to my tablet through Steam. And I'm wondering if Capybara Spa is one of those because I feel like it feels very much like a mobile game, but I feel like that would be so nice to be able to like sit on my tablet and like play that while watching a show or something. Hi, Mickey. Hello. Don't, don't turn off the, the mobile stream, sir. That would be very rude. Yes, indeed it would. He's like, oh, okay, bye. Kristoff remains. Always. Yeah, we're gonna give you a good brush out today, sir. Yeah, you need a good brush out, don't you? Yes, you do. Ooh. Baby, baby. You'll always be my baby. You're my first baby. Did you know that, Kristoff? You are my first goat baby, so you'll always be my first. Always. Even when you get big and really stinky like the other daddies, even when you have a big beard and you pee on your face every day, I, you will still always be my baby. Yeah. You will. I know. Would you like to fly? Ready? Fly, 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 fly. Fly away. Fly away. I'm a goat and I fly away. I'm an airplane ear flying through the sky. Fly, fly, fly. Fly, fly, fly. Yeah? What'd you think? What'd you think about that, bud? Mm -hmm. Oh, goodness. And you've got like hay all over in your fur. You just need a good brushing. You did brush me last week, but you need more brushing every day, huh? Every day, all the time. Every day, all the time. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, but it sounds like folks have some good plans for the day. Marlo's going to be working on their office, which is very inspiring. I hope that you post pictures once it's done in Discord so we can all be inspired. It makes me feel inspired. It makes me feel like I want to do some some amount of cleaning. We'll see. We'll see how the day goes. I might just do some work on my laptop. 
I also might just play Capybara Spa on my tablet. <laughs> and, uh, play with May was playing it the other day, and she played it for a little bit longer than we did. And there's also turtles. You can so not just ducks, not just babies, but turtles. And so now I also want to know, like, what other things can you put in your Capybara Spa? I must know. I have I have many questions. So many questions. I know. I know. Yeah. Oh, I cannot wait. Like, I will say, it is so satisfying to brush the boys. Because, like, I'm going to try and get you close. Like, he's got all this, like, undercoat that just comes off in the brush. So lovely. So good. And I just want... I just want that. Yeah, I do. Can I have, please? <laughs> that would be very good. I pressed a weird button on my tablet. There we go. Yeah. I know. Oh, you're making, oops, sorry. You're making me feel sleepy. You're making me feel sleepy with these turtles. And the grass is still pretty wet. I wonder if it rained a little bit last night. Because it's almost 11, so I'm kind of surprised that the grass is so wet. I'm a little surprised. Yeah, I am. So maybe we'll let the babies out in the yard this afternoon. I'll try and record some video so I can at least put it in the Discord or on TikTok or something so we can watch the babies run around. The new babies, the fresh babies. Hmm. But it does feel like it could rain today. I didn't actually look at the weather report, which is probably something I should do on Saturday so far. Planning to do stuff, but I didn't. And so, but just like... It feels like it's going to rain. Feels like it might be a rainy day, which would be a good day to just have the day to myself. I don't get that very often. 24 hours without Grumpy or Tiny Tilts. I miss them, actually. And, um, which maybe it's terrible to say I was a little surprised <laughs> just like what no I should be fine it's gonna be so good but I think like hearing little tiny totes voice this morning I was like oh she was so sweet she was because you know my sister was calling me and she was just like hi mama can I talk to mama and so my sister like put me on speakerphone she was like hi mama I made a pretend cake today it was so good and so she's having a very good time and I know um my sister's friend has a daughter who I think is just a year or two younger than her. And so they sent me pictures. They went to a park yesterday with her and my nephew and her friend and their, and their kiddos. And so she's having a very good time, which is very nice. And I think that we are going to do a little Tiny Totes birthday celebration in the Discord this week. Um, probably on Wednesday when she gets home from school. Because I know um, Lottie's already sent her a gift. And, um, and, and what we might just do is, uh, and I know I have a card that I had posted in the Discord too for folks if they wanted to uh, put a little note on it for her. And so I was thinking we either do Wednesday or if we did Friday, that might be better um, as well. But I know, like, and then she can open, like, no matter what, even if folks do get her a present, which I, I was so surprised by, you know, I, for, I forget sometimes how much. Because, you know, you, when you're thinking about a lot of, like, internet safety and, like, kids in um, any kind of online content creation, like, I'm, I'm always just very aware of trying my best to, you know, keep Tiny Totes safe and also, like, not, uh, but make sure that it's her choice and something that she wants to do as often as we can. And even, like, you know, for YouTube, I don't... Um, have her face in 
any of the videos that we put up there on YouTube. She either has a filter or um, it's just her voice or I just... I think when I first started making YouTube videos a couple of years ago, it was Duck Bear. <laughs> I, like, um, I, I was out of control. I was, like, doing, like, um, like, basically, like, I would record us do it playing games and doing crafts together. And then um, for the parts where she was talking, I used her stuffed animal that I made her as, like, a puppet. And I would, like, have it, like, move around to match what she was saying. They're pretty cute. I think they're cute. And so they're still up on the YouTube from way back when, but, um, I thought it was very cute, but yeah, so I never, I, like, I, like, I always know that she's very aware of streams and, and of chat and of, like, our community, and she knows Marlo and, um, Psyched and Chef, so she knows a few stream friends in real life, and then, um, you know, she always is excited to say hello to everyone, she always loves to hear everyone say hi, tiny totes to her, and, but, you know, I mean, think about that kind of thing where when uh, I got the message, like, hey, does she have an Amazon wish list that I could send her a present? I was like, oh, my God. Well, she does because we use it for our, my sisters. And um, I don't know. It just, like, you know, when you start streaming, I don't know. I guess maybe it depends on why you're streaming. But I started streaming because I uh, was missing... Well, really, I was missing my friend who I would play games together but separate with, you know, Skype and play Sims at the same time together. And um, and so I was like, well, you know, I think it'd be fun to be able to do that. And then I can, like, share all the things I love. Like, I, I can share our goats. I can share the soap. I can share, like, just playing games and babble talking and sometimes going on rants about the uh, prison industrial complex and it's uh pure evil and <laughs> but then also like I think I think that what surprises what has surprised me most about this um time streaming is the communities that I found both in within like the the streams and communities built by my uh like favorite streamers and my stream friends but also the goat barn and and the community that I found here and you know that's why when we do skip a Sunday of stream, because we only stream twice, like two Sundays a month, and I come back to live on Wednesday, even if we've been playing games and stuff in Discord, I'm just like, oh, I've missed you guys. I miss our times where I can just like hang out and babble talk, and, and sometimes we chat back and forth, and sometimes it's a lurky day where we're all just trying to get our serotonin and our, like, community space time, even if we don't, you know, chat. And I don't know, I just, that was a big surprise. That was not something I was anticipating when I started all this last June. It wasn't. I just, I just wanted to play games and, and talk and not feel like I was out of my mind. So I thought, oh, I'll just pretend to talk to people on the internet. If I'm live, then even if no one's there. But it's just wild. Huh. Kristoff, you are just too cuddly and sweet. I'm just sitting here cuddling you and just babble talking. I can't help it. Yeah, I feel the rain coming. Okay, so maybe today is not the day for, them, for Lark and the babies to be outside. Hopefully tomorrow will be better. I am looking forward to some better weather in general. Yeah, better weather in general, don't you think? What do you think, bud? Are you just asleep? Asleep standing up, getting all the good cuddles, all the good little pets? Yeah. I know. You're a good boy. Yeah, especially because all the goats are now back inside. That's another thing, I think. Like, when the goats are inside, but it's not raining, but it feels like it could rain, I just assume it's going to rain. Huh. I just assume. I remember being a kid, and, like, one of the things that somebody told me was, like, oh, if you drive past, like, a field of cows and they're all laying down, that means it's gonna rain. And I don't know if that's true or not. I don't know why that is. <laughs> but if you don't, if, you, if it is true, and you know why, I'd love to hear it. Yeah, I'd love to hear it. Come on, bud. Yeah. Oh, 
goodness. But is it about time? Is it about time that we head in? Well, I head in. I bet the... I bet... I, look, I see Monster Mash peeking out. He says hello. Hello, good morning. It's going to be rainy. I'm in my barn. Yes, that's fair. Okay. Well, we can head in. That's fine. Does that sound good to you? You have to stay out here, though. I mean, you can go in your barn, but you can't come in the house with me. I know you think you are just like a dog, but you will poop everywhere. And we have enough of that problem already. <laughs> All right. Oh, we go. Wow. That's always the hard part, right? It's like just trying to stand up. Oh, goodness. Okay. And make sure you are all secure in here. No, very good. And I'm debating, I think I might let the chickens stay out for a little bit longer because we're having a little bit of a shorter stream this morning. But I think, you know, we're sleepy. <laughs> I think it's just that point in the month where we're all just kind of like, oh, it's just nice to have like a relaxing, low stress kind of morning. And even though I started off stream kind of annoyed <laughs> because of my mom and all that, I, I'm feeling better. I'm feeling like chill. I'm excited about my calzone. I think that sounds very good. Very good and delicious. And yeah, chickens are all out and they're doing good. So yeah, I think that sounds very good. Let's check on the babies. Oh, it checked out pretty well. Oh my goodness. Thank you guys so much. This was exactly what I was needing today. Honestly, I don't think I realized how much I just needed like a super chill like cuddles with the goats and pets and and laughter and oh it was just so good it was so good i'm i'm just like i said i'm just so grateful and i just appreciate you guys and yeah i think i would like to <clears throat> go and continue cozy morning time False Bubbles is making, uh, oh, they're crocheting, they're crocheting a strawberry cow, I think, maybe, they're, they literally just went live, so, I think, oh yeah, somebody else just redeemed first, oh my god, wouldn't that have been funny if I could have redeemed first, and then, uh, jumped over there, <laughs> no, that's fine, that's fine, we don't need to do that, but, um, we are going to go ahead and and head out over there i will be around in the discord throughout the day today if anybody does want to like play games or if you end up watching all of bridgerton and want to talk to me about it or anything let me know i think i am just going to take it easy today i think i need that i think i need to just let myself let the the pressure of feeling like there's a lot to do around the house go for a little bit and just take care of Lark and the mamas and the other animals and take care of myself a little bit. Maybe I'll even take a bath. <sighs> I might take a bath. That sounds very good, actually. But yeah, if you want to hang out in the Discord with us, there's that. Uh, you can also follow me on my socials and things. I, um, I've been, like, twittering, tweeting. More often than I ever thought I would. I never thought I would be on Twitter. But somehow, somehow, there I am. <laughs> and, um, but also, you know, Instagram, which is, I'm trying to get better at, but it's mostly just goat pictures. <laughs> and then uh, on Facebook and YouTube and TikTok and all of those things. And I think, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Oh my God, I know what there is. We have the giveaway. Hang on, I'm going to post um in the discord really quick everyone last chance to enter the giveaway for a free bar of soap okay that's good see I, I forget these things sometimes 
oh my gosh, not ooey gooey bagel bites. This is what happens. I start looking in Discord. I also want to look like an arcade carpet, Marlo. How did you know? How did you know? <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, I cannot wait for to be able to let the babies run around outside and to watch them run and jump. They are so playful and sweet and cute. I die, I die. <laughs> oh, goodness. Trying to think if there's anything else. While we wait. Well, just a minute in case, in case. But I do think how many, let's see. That's one thing I have to remember to do like when we do get raided and we have new friends come in is make sure that they, they <clears throat> know to uh, like tell them about the giveaway when we hit that goal. Okay, I will announce it. Oh, that's not the announcement. That's not the one. Delete it. <laughs> Let's see. I think I'm going to give it one minute. Then it'll be 11.05. You want to love the babies? I know, Amethyst. Someday. Someday we'll have... Lottie and I have been talking about this a lot, actually, because you know everyone's talking about TwitchCon. And I know a few folks that are going, for sure. And I'm debating, because I've never been. Um, and I've been to, like, video game conventions and stuff. But I also, like, I don't know. Like, in years past when I've gone to big video game conventions, like, mainly I use it as a chance to hang out with friends and um, play games. I have nothing to do with the convention at all. And it's like, well, then do I need to go to the convention? And then sometimes I think, well, what if we just had a big goat con? <laughs> and we just, like... Like, I've been joking, like, what if we all just, like, everybody, like, brought some tents or some RVs and, and camped out on, on the farm with us for a weekend, and uh, we just cuddled goats and played games. Because <laughs> that's really all I want, honestly. That's really all I want. Okay, let's close the giveaway. I know not everybody is in, into camping, but... Mainly, I just want to hang out with all my stream friends in real life and share the goats as, even more because they are just like so sweet. All right, are we ready for our winner? I don't know. I don't think I have a drum roll, so uh, let's just do this. Ready? Da 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 da. Oh, I can do this, I suppose. I don't know what that does to the microphone, but okay. The first winner is. It is Odell's of Noodle! And because this week, you guys were out of control with your sweet, sweet love, and um, we actually, if you look up at the sub goal, you, between last week and this week, we've hit it twice. And so, I'm gonna draw another winner. I can't wait to send noodle soap. I don't know if I've sent noodle soap. <gasps> Have I sent noodle soap? But here we go, ready? Second winner is Jackie the Bananas. Oh, is, Jackie's one of our newer followers. I'm so excited. Yay. I'll be reaching out to the winners probably later today to let them know and get all their information. I'm so curious if I've, I feel like, I don't know if I've sent noodle soap. Maybe I have. Oh, but that's my favorite. I get to share soap. Yay, yay, yay. <laughs> but yes, uh, all the hype in the chat for Jackie and for noodle. And I am just so excited. That makes me so happy. Yay, I get to give away soap. That's my favorite thing to do. My favorite thing to do is to give away soap. <laughs> Oh my goodness. But yes, uh, what else was I going to say? Oh, tomorrow I'm going to be streaming in the afternoon. And I know we're going to be playing some Goose Goose Duck with Hi Hello Rachel and a few other folks. And um, I don't know if we'll start, we might start stream 
before the goose goose duck and maybe play something like me depending on how how much i get sucked into capybara spa we might do a little bit of that um before some goose goose duck time tomorrow afternoon but i hope you're able to hang out with us for that and yeah i think that is all of the things so uh here is the subrate command if you are uh subscribed here's the ray command and let's go and see false bubbles she's literally just saying hello perfect timing but she's crocheting and the title is look at you strawberry cow so i'm ready i'm ready to see some crocheting because i can't crochet i can only knit but i love to see crochet so i'm very excited i'm gonna go ahead and get that started Let's see, can I do it in the chat? I haven't been able to for a while, but I would love to do that. So let's see if it will let me. Yeah, that's so weird. So I guess I will do it over from streaming. And yeah, thank you guys for such a lovely, relaxing, chill stream this morning. I just really appreciate you all. And I hope that you take care of yourselves today. That's what I'm gonna do. And I am looking forward to hearing about all of the things that you're up to, whether it's uh, organizing, decorating, cleaning, watching shows, napping, eating pepperoni and jalapeno calzones, because that's what I'm gonna do. Also, I'll put a picture in the Discord once I get it. But yeah, I will see you all tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.